The Department of Medical Assistance Services would like to welcome you to the March 2023 Consumer Directed Services Quarterly Update. Our goal is to provide updated information for CDE personal care attendants that provide services to Medicaid members. We encourage each attendant and employer of record, or EOR, to review this quarterly information to help support their role in the CD program. This update will discuss COVID-19 legally responsible attendance, face-to-face -face service facilitation visits, Medicaid eligibility and renewals, paid sick leave, and provide some CD resources. Parents of minor children or spouses have been permitted to be paid to provide personal care services when there is no one else available to provide the service. This temporary flexibility was put into place at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic and will continue until November 11th, 2023, six months after the end of the federal public health emergency. The 2022 General Assembly passed a measure to permanently allow parents of minor children and spouses to be reimbursed for personal care services when no one else is available. This is subject to the Centers of Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS, approval. DMAS is working on submitting a request to CMS to make this permanent. As a reminder, temporary attendance can only be paid to provide personal care services. This applies to personal care services provided through the CCC Plus waiver, Family and Individual Supports waiver, and the Community Living waiver. This information does not apply to parents and spouses of individuals in the EPS DT program. Effective January 1st, 2023, services facilitators were required to resume face-to-face -face visits to ensure the health and safety of Medicaid members receiving home and community-based services. Telephonic or virtual visits which were temporarily granted during the public health emergency are no longer available. The following information pertains to Medicaid members. Normal Medicaid enrollment processes will soon start. Virginia Medicaid will soon start the renewal process for all Medicaid members. Beginning April 1st, 2023, Medicaid will send out letters in the mail about your renewal status. The letters will contain important information on any actions you need to take to keep your health coverage. Medicaid members, please make sure your mailing address and contact information are correct to receive the information you will need to renew your coverage. Failure to have up-to-date information may result in a lapse of coverage. To update your information, you can go online at commonhealth.virginia.gov. You may call Cover Virginia at 1-855-242-8282, or you may call your local Department of Social Services. Some personal care attendants qualify for paid sick leave benefits. Guidelines include the individual must be Medicaid and waiver eligible. Attendants earn one hour of sick leave for every 30 hours worked. Sick leave cannot result in an overtime payment. Sick leave will not be paid when employment is terminated. Carry over sick leave hours. An individual may use up to 40 hours of earned sick leave per fiscal year. Any unused sick leave hours at the end of the fiscal year will be carried over into the following fiscal year. Please note, no more than 40 hours of sick leave 
may be used in a fiscal year, including when an individual has accumulated a bank of more than 40 sick leave hours through carryover. This is an example of how sick leave hours may carry over into the following state fiscal year, or SFY. This attendant has earned the maximum 40 sick leave hours for the fiscal year that ends June 30th. During the year, they use 30 of those hours, leaving a remaining 10 sick leave hours. These hours will carry over at the start of the new state fiscal year that begins July 1st. The attendant may now earn up to 40 additional sick leave hours in the new state fiscal year. Here are some key points to remember. If an attendant does not meet the initial sick leave eligibility in the first quarter, the FEA will reassess them each quarter to determine if they meet eligibility. Once an attendant meets the qualification criteria for sick leave, they remain eligible until the end of the fiscal year. Virginia's fiscal year starts July 1st and ends June 30th. Eligibility is reassessed every fiscal year. For additional questions related to sick leave, please contact your FEA. Here are some CD resources. For questions related to this quarterly update, please feel free to email us at cdattendantinfo at dmas.virginia.gov. For additional consumer direction information, including a complete CD personal care attendant training, please visit our website using the URL listed here. Thank you for your continued participation in the DMAS Consumer Direction Program.